What's up everybody? Earlier I showed you my precision training days. So today I think it's time for a proper practice match. I am going to be commentating on it myself, explaining my thinking process and decisions. As I know the result already, it might be not very interesting. But I have a solution. I am going to leave myself a note and erase my memory by these tools. Where am I? Who am I? Huh? Okay, let's do it! My head still hurts, but I recognize the guy on this side. It's Leighton Riviera, the young player from Norway who practiced at our academy. And the guy on that side doesn't need an introduction. It's Mr. Handsomeness and simply the best tennis YouTuber in the world. Yeah, it's me. A couple of misses by Leighton and I have two break points already. Usually I'm not very good at converting those, so let's see what happens here. I don't like how short most of my shots are. Well, like usual, pretty passive play from my side, and in the end, the game is lost. This is the first time I've played points during this offseason, so I don't expect a very high level. My legs are sore, my arms are stiff, and I'm pretty tired in general. On top of that, we have a little distraction next to our court. Top 20 doubles player Filip Polashek is doing his fitness, so we practice our focus and mental strengths as well. Wow, that was an impressive shot down the line. But I'm able to hold this game with my serve. Let me tell you more about Leighton. He is 18 or 19 years old and he doesn't have any ATP points. He wasn't able to play many professional tournaments this year because of this whole situation. My guess that his game level right now is around 500 or 600.
maybe lower. But of course he is young and will improve. As you can see, Leighton plays a very typical style. He tries to round around his forehand and control the point from there. Backhand is his weakest shot, so he just tries to play solid from there without creating anything special. My goal is to make him play that backhand as much as possible. If I just play there all the time, he will stay at that corner and will start to run around his forehand more often. So to avoid that, I need to play either good angle or to play deep and to change to his forehand frequently so I can attack that backhand again. Both returns were not good, but I've managed to save the second one with a good passing. Good and deep return gives me a 30 all and a chance to make a break. very unfortunate error, because I've made him lose his balance and most likely that shot would bring me the break point, that's why I was so disappointed and Leighton was extremely happy about my miss, for sure he watched my how to ruin someone's practice video. Another chance, but well played by the Viking. Our match is organized on the highest level, almost as high as extra league I played this summer. So same thing, no line umpires, chair umpires or ball kids. But we have more balls. And our ball change was just now. Because of the long warm up, we've decided to change them after just 5 games. Not moving very well after serves lead to two misses with the first shot and three break points. Hopefully I'll be able to save them. Or Leighton will help me with his misses. That was handy. Great volume like usual and another break point. Second serve. That was risky but I guess I was afraid he would run around his forehand. 
Good surf and first shot. That was a tough and important game, and I guess I have a little mental advantage right now. Balls are still kinda new, so Leighton misses his first shot of the surf as well. Look, I've decided to change my position for the return of his second surf to put even more pressure on Leighton. And it worked! Very unnecessary miss from Leighton, and now I have two break points. He tries the same thing with a risky second serve to my forehand, but he misses. 4 3 with a break up. The game after the break is very important. It's easy to lose focus after achieving your small goal and lose this advantage straight away. Trust me, I've done this many times. Hmm, support running an incredible lob. Usual stuff from my side, but our two spectators are pretty impressed. 5-3 Our Viking continues to miss and it's love 30. But two bad returns and it's 30 all. Three bad returns. 5 4. I'll probably lose this game right now. I don't know how, I don't know why, but I'll definitely lose it. I know myself. You see, it's coming. Double fault. For sure I'll lose this game. Wow, that was unexpected. 6-4. Judging from the first set and how close it was, I bet this one will be even better. Wow, impressive point. I didn't know that I could make such great drop shots. Good deep backhand brings me three break points. I continue to push his backhand to the limit, and he continues to frame his returns. double fault, but it's okay, good time for the risk.
frame. Double fold. First shot miss. I don't know how to comment on that. Another routine passing shot and it's 3-0. Finally some good play by our Viking. Good shot down the line. Hmm, and not so good shot down the line. Double fault. For sure I'm thinking about 6-0 right now. And will fight really hard for this game. But it looks like I don't need to. Love 40. And another double fault. Stupid decision to make a drop shot here, but I think Leighton is just tilting right now and still thinking about 3 2, love 40 in the first set. For me to make the job done is enough not to miss right now. Yep, it's 6 0. So, how do you feel after first win in the last month of the year 2020? Well, uh... I try to play aggressive with my backhand and uh, with my forehand and uh, okay. Very strong performance and very wise words after the match. Anyway, we've learned our lesson today that you don't need anything special to turn a close match to a complete humiliation. That was a sad story. And that's it for today. Like if you want to see more match commentating in the future. Subscribe if you like my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.